Hey everyone, happy new year. It is Sunday, January 14th, I think. And I have really missed you guys and I have missed vlogging. So I thought I would pop on today and see if I could maybe do a little vlog. I love sharing kind of what I'm doing or what I'm in love with and what I've discovered or favorite things, all that kind of stuff. So if that is something that you like and you do like this video, then let me know and maybe I will try to post a little bit here and there about what's going on around here. Just to keep you posted, since my vlogs and since Christmas, we had a really nice um, New Year's. We spent it with my sisters and their families and my parents and it was just really kind of quiet and and fun but um, we've just been super relaxed and chilled out since Christmas this past week the kids went back to school so we're all kind of getting used to the routines again and as much as I really wanted to start January with good routines and habits I haven't really I've just been so laid back which is nice because I've had Lots of bubble baths and lots of time to kind of um, just chill out. But now I'm feeling like it's time to get organized. I have a few things that I want to do around the house and some new habits to keep in place. So I thought maybe I would share a little bit about that today and maybe tomorrow. Because when the kids go back to school tomorrow, I'll probably be doing a lot more of that. But we are all starting to go a little bit stir crazy and feeling cabin fever because this January has been so cold. It's been really gray other than the odd sunny day here and there. Um, but it's kind of a blue January. It's just, it's it hasn't been very exciting. And because I have some back issues, I can't really skate or ski. So we don't really have any outdoor activities that we can take part in. Um, I mean, the kids will go tobogganing here and there, but I don't know. We're just going crazy. So today we've decided to get dressed and check out a flea market nearby that has some antiques and maybe some stuff that the kids will want to look at just to kind of get out somewhere other than the mall. And maybe we'll get a little bite to eat. So I thought I would take you along with me today and any organizing and... Um, new habits and things that I'm doing around the house, I thought I would share with you. So I am just going to keep recording and hopefully it will be of some interest. and it was not very exciting. We did not stay long and there was nothing much to show you of interest there, but we did get out of the house and went for a walk, which was nice. And then we briefly stopped at the nursery and I picked up two really small house plants because I've been wanting to add just a little bit more greenery in the house. And I meant to do this earlier today, but time got away from me and I wanted to plan my meals for the week. So I just sat down in the dining room. I pulled out, let's see, two, five books that I thought I might find something in. They are ones that I've just wanted to flip through. And I might not pick five brand new recipes from here, but I just wanted to flip through them for some ideas and then that might trigger um, an old recipe or a dinner idea for us this week. I also picked up 
this weekly list from, it's a notepad and it's from Rifle Paper Company. And I've only used it, um, I think I got it last week. So I used it last week and I really liked it. So I've just put a line across here and I'm going to put in at least five dinners. Um, I can always move them around or bump it out if we decide to do something else. But I am going to sit with my books. I really like this book actually, it's Curtis Stone. I've got two in here that I am already considering. I picked up from the shelf these two family-based cookbooks, which I really like, and I haven't made too much from this one yet, and I thought I might flip through it. It's Feeding a Family. This is one of my favorites. I've had this one for a long time. It's How to Feed a Family. Um, it's the Sweet Potato Chronicles cookbook, and this is a really nice one. Um, just lots of nice ideas in here. There's some muffins. I think I might want to bake something so that we have a muffin for the week for just on the go eating and packing in lunches. So um, this one I really like. I'm going to try to find something from there. Of course, I always have at least one pasta night a week. So I might look for something new in the back pocket pasta book, which is also really, really nice. And you can kind of modify this. Oops modify a lot of these recipes based on what you have, which I really like. So we do tend to eat pasta at least one to two times a week, so that's a good one. And of course, my favorite three times a day cookbook that Annie gave me. I think I've made at least one recipe from this book every week since I got it, and it is amazing. It has not disappointed. So I'm just going to flip through that one as well. I'm going to make my list and I won't get around to shopping for this today, but as soon as the kids go to school in the morning, I think I'm going to run out and get whatever we need so that I am set up for the week because I have noticed that if I do not plan dinners, it becomes really stressful and I don't want to cook, but if I do plan, it's so much easier. It removes all temptation to run out and get something to eat. So. This is one of my things that I am trying to do for the new year that just helps helps my day and makes things a little bit easier and less stressful. Okay, so it's only a few minutes later and I've already got a whole bunch of things that I think I would like to make this week. So here is my little notepad. I've already filled them in. So on Monday, I'd like to make this herbed chicken tray bake. It looks really, really good. I haven't made this particular one before, but we have been craving vegetables and fruits, I think because of the weather. So this one has zucchini and um, cherry tomatoes in it, and it's from the How to Feed a Family cookbook. So I think that's a really nice one. Oh, and I also found this recipe. I have made this before. It is maple cornbread. It is really, really delicious. I, If I feel like baking a little bit later on in the week, I think I'll make this one. Um, tonight, I am going to make some chocolate chip banana muffins because I have some bananas that are overripe and ready to be used up. But I think I'll do that maple cornbread a little bit later. On Wednesday, I thought of making lemon linguine, or if we don't feel like that, I can also do this penne carbonara recipe which is a family favorite. You can look at my page. It's just covered in spots from the kitchen. I've used this one so many times. It is the perfect, perfect recipe. It is from Jamie Oliver's Happy Days with the Naked Chef. This is an old one, but definitely a favorite. So that is Wednesday. Um, I like to have fish once a week if we can. So on Thursday, I think I might wanna try this salmon recipe with an orzo salad. This is really nice too, and it is in the Curtis Stone's What's for Dinner book. On Friday, I'm going to make homemade pizza, and then I've also, um, I'm also thinking I'll do chicken parmesan at some point over the weekend. So I just kind of need to fill in something here, or maybe we'll pick something up. I don't know. We're really kind of wanting to eat at home more, so I'm just trying to be really organized. I have been putting any missing ingredients for any of these recipes into my grocery list um, in the Wonderlist app that I mentioned. And I am going to pick up any of those things so that it is super easy to just prep dinners and 
eat really healthy this week. And we are, like I said, craving major fruit. So I think I'm going to buy some really nice melon and some berries so that we are feeling energized and have a lot more energy for the week. which I am loving. It's the Jenna Rose bag that I had shown. Um, I'm not sure if it's called a bucket or a bag, but I love it. I keep it near my bedside table and I've put all of my sock whips in here. And I've been adding a few other little things in here which are really handy to have in my room. Um, I've got a couple of needle cozies I just threw in there, a tape measure. Um, I've got a couple of counter row counters. I threw in a lotion bar for dry hands. And I got this for Christmas. Glenn gave me this in my stocking. It's one of those little portable um, scales. And I got this because I thought it would be really handy to weigh your minis for your heels, toes, and cuffs. So I've got that in here. And I just love having a spot for all of my sock whips. I finished a pair of socks for James a week or so ago and I'm so happy about it. So I came up here the other day, I posted this on Instagram already. So I came up to grab another sock that I could keep in my purse or just kind of, you know, carry around the house with me and all of them are at the stage where I needed a heel. So I was a little frustrated because I didn't have an easy sock whip, but that's okay. Um, this one I love, it's Scrumptious Pearls come sail away I think is the colorway and I've got the first one but I'm ready to put in the heel flap here this was another one it was it's another scrumptious pearl yarn it is the that's what she said colorway that was dyed for Jody's birthday I believe from the grocery girls and again I need a heel flap in this one and this one which is super cute and it's in this cute little bag from Missy from Minnesota. It's sort of just like a, a yarn management kind of bag so you can put these little pouches in another bag so that you're not getting all tangled up. And in here I have this beautiful yarn that Amber from Makers Haven dyed. Um, I've shown this one before too. Let's see here. I think it has a special color that she did just for um, our roomies. I'm not sure if she dyed it again, but it was from our Rhinebeck trip and I love it so much. And this, I had done the heel flap, but I needed to do the um, turn the heel and pick up the stitches and all that kind of stuff. So I decided to start with this one. I ended up making a little bit of progress on it last night and I am going to continue with this one and I am also going to just you know power through and put in the heel for this one so that I've got two that I can just easily pick up and keep going on because I have not felt like knitting anything too complicated um, I've even had a little bit of a knitting break in the last week or so I've just kind of I haven't been feeling like knitting much so this, I think, is the perfect way to get back into it 
and I am just going to work on some of these tonight. I'm also going to take my nail polish off. It's a mess and just kind of pamper myself tonight. After dinner, I plan on having a really nice warm bath with a lush bath bomb and then do my nails and do some knitting. Monday and I just finished packaging up all of the orders from my shop update on Friday so thank you very much if you shopped in that update or checked it out um, it took me a while there was a lot of stuff but everything is packed up and ready to go and it is noon so Glenn is home and we are going to head out to the post office mail everything and get a bite to eat we have been really enjoying faux noodles lately and it was snowing this morning. So we are going to go have a little break for lunch and I am just going to pick up some groceries on the way back and try to get organized for the week. Um, I think I mentioned yesterday, but I'm kind of like everyone else, just trying to be a little more organized at home and I'm going to slowly be cleaning out areas like cupboards and like kitchen cupboards and I just did my bathroom cupboard a little bit did a quick cleanup but I'm just feeling the need to clean up a bit clear out some old stuff get rid of it and donate what I can and it's making me feel so much better so I am going to head out have a little break and then come back and do some more cleaning delicious lunch which was so good it is cold and still snowing today so it was really nice to have some soup and all of the packages have been mailed out so I feel really good that they are all on their way to you guys and then we did some grocery shopping a couple of errands and just got back I put some lavender oil in my Muji diffuser which is smelling so good right now I made myself a delicious cup of coffee and before Camden gets home, I thought I would enjoy my coffee and do a little bit of knitting on my sock. I've been missing it, so I'm kind of getting back into knitting again. I got this in the mail today. This is um, some more lining that I've ordered for signature bags. And I am just going to have a little bit of a break before the boys start getting home. Um, and then in between all that between dinner and the boys. I am just gonna keep picking up a bit around the house. I think that's my mission for the next day or two. I'm trying to set some goals for weekly, weekly household things because I realized, I think the reason I was getting, um, feeling overwhelmed with cleaning is because I'm not really sticking to a great schedule 
we just kind of do things as we think about it or need it and we've gotten off of all schedules so I am going to try to get back onto a routine of certain days or certain tasks around the house and I think they'll feel much less overwhelming that way. I'm also really trying to set up a schedule where I'm doing the bulk of my shop work partly Monday, but heavily on Tuesday to Thursday and working my butt off so that on Friday I can kind of have a day for me. I got the idea from Courtney, who is an artist that I really love following on Instagram and YouTube. She is Little Raven Inc. And I, I support her on Patreon also. She's got some great videos and she is trying to do that this year. She is working really hard Monday through Thursday and putting Fridays aside, not necessarily to do nothing, but to do any online courses, do any um, hobbies and things that are important to her. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I have some online classes I want to revisit. Um, there are some videos I want to watch. I want to, you know, keep up with my journal and my art and some research for my shop, which is kind of the fun part. So that is what I'm really trying to do on Fridays and if I want to get my hair done or if I get a manicure, which is all of twice a year, <laughs> I think I'm just going to try to keep Friday to do things that make me happy. So that is where I'm at around the house and what's going on around here. If you guys have any tips for uh, work around the house, like housework, um, keeping things organized, keeping things tidy. Do you guys have a routine? Like we, tr we try to do laundry on Mondays. I'm trying to pick a day to do bathrooms, but I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to make this work because I definitely have the time. I'm just trying to use it really wisely. So if you have any tips, I would love to hear them. I'm ready to pop this chicken tray bake into the oven. It looks really good and there is a lot of it. I was trying to spread it around and I had to use an extra pan. So we should have lots of leftovers, but it looks really good. Dinner is taking a lot longer than I thought. I think I might have overcrowded my pans a little bit. And so James had to go to soccer, Glenn took him there, and Camden and I just finished shoveling the driveway because it has just been snowing like crazy. It's, it's just bizarre, the weather lately. We had a lot of snow and then it was all melting and now it's back again so I think we're gonna get a lot overnight so we're just preparing for that and I'm looking forward to dinner when the boys get back and tonight I'm just totally relaxing I'm gonna have a nice cup of tea and what I've been doing is at night just kind of looking at my planner seeing what I want to do um, you know, tomorrow so that when I wake up, I'm ready to go and there's no fumbling and slow starts for me. I am just trying to set some priorities, do a few of those each day and then not overdo it and then save some time for me. So that is my plan. I am going to say goodnight now. I will probably just put in a clip or two of our evening or dinner and I'm going to say goodnight. So I hope you guys are all doing well and I will talk to you soon.